We're here at Summon Am 2016 on the Advanced Audio booth with Dave Thomas. And uh, Dave Thomas, yes. tell us, you've got a, a new product out, um, or about I to do. be out, and it's yeah. made in collaboration with... Malcolm Toff, Malcolm the, Toft. the designer of Trident. Now, uh, Malcolm also recorded the Beatles. <laughs> That's not a bad claim to fame. <laughs> and he also recorded David Bowie's Space Oddity in three hours. So he's got form. Yeah, and, J and James Taylor's first record which George Harrison sang background vocals on, never got credited for, told me. So I've known him, Malcolm, since 1979. I uh, had a studio in Vancouver called Ocean Sound, and um, we bought a Trident Series 80 uh, in 1979. So I talked with Malcolm then on the phone, because he, he, uh, he did some, uh, we wanted it modified. One of the patch bay moved to the other side, and uh, um, we wanted uh, the monitor section uh, changed uh, so that the, uh, the faders would actually bring the level up and they, they weren't the group outputs you know, for, for our producers so they could pull up a quick monitor mix. Um, so I'd, I'd worked with him then, then I met him again uh, in person um, about seven years ago at an AES show when we first were bringing out our microphones and we kind of hit it off because we both worked in the days where we started with four tracks and went to eight track and then 16 track and then 24 track. And, um, and I loved his Series 80. I loved that preamp, and I've always wanted to have a Series 80 um, again, or at least a preamp that sounded like that. And and then I was uh, I've got a, uh, a client um, in LA, um, Joseph McGee, he's a supervising music mixer of, uh, of uh, Sony Pictures and uh, the Pitch Perfect movies. Okay. And he uses all my mics on Pitch Perfect. Um, and he said, oh man, you're going to build, like, work on a Series 80 type preamp? He said, I love those. I've cut my teeth on them, recorded the, the LA Philharmonic with a Trident board. And so he wants, he's getting one of the, the, one of the next one that arrives. We've got five coming, the first prototypes. Because we wanted to build five, make sure everything's perfect, and we'll make some minor changes if we have to, and then we're going to uh, build another 50. So do you want to tell us what it is then? Yes. So it, the, the preamp's based on the, the Series 80, which is a transformer coupled preamp. And the beauty of it was that there's no pad needed before the transformer. So like the Neve 1073, the output of the microphone hits the transformer fully. So you get this lovely transformer sound. And, uh, and then uh, we I wanted a transformer output circuit. The Trident never, didn't have transformer outputs, um, it, but it, it was very low impedance out. Uh, so we put a transformer output section. I wanted a high pass filter because I found the variable high pass filters very very useful because you can mm. hear, you can take the rumble out. And you, like here, we're competing with 10 drummers over there mm -hmm. trying out <laughs> drums. So when I was uh, showing this to somebody yesterday, I just clicked in the high pass and I rolled out the, the thunder that we're the low end rumble we got here in this huge venue. You know, so and you can find where where you start to affect the vocal or, or if that's what you're recording, mm -hmm. but you um, and then you back it off a bit. So okay. I love that feature. And the rest is super simple. We just want a preamp that's going to capture what the microphone's getting. And we don't want it, I mean, other than we're, we, we want a transformer sound, mm -hmm. but we don't want any any EQ switches. Because then you've got to keep notes of, you have to go back and cut a vocal, and you've got to go, okay, well, which switch, you know, did I did I have? Did I have the the 20 kilohertz boost mm -hmm. on? Or, yeah, you know, sure. So we want, we, we do that, I like to do that in post-production. You know, so it's, so it, it's, um, really well laid out inside we uh, uh, we want every, everything's surface uh, not surface soldered everything is is through hold soldered okay. so all the, there's some ICs in here and they're on sockets now the, the beauty of the circuit too is that it uses an IC input stage but it uses two ICs to, to give you the the 60 DB of gain so each IC is only doing half the work and the, the gain is brought up together and that's what made the Trident you know, and, and Neve does the same thing. Mm -hmm. They use a click position switch, but mm -hmm. this, the 1073 does the same thing. So you can, so you'll see here it starts out at minus 10, the gain control. So it's actually attenuating the signal after the transformer, mm -hmm. and then we start to bring the gain up. Um, I've got the prototype I have in my studio at home, and it's living on the kick drum mic. It, it just, it's got a, you know, I, I, I love the sound of it. So, so we're uh, we'll have these ready for. Um, 
we're starting to take pre-orders, uh, and then we'll be able to deliver uh, first. We think the first week of September. So, how much is this thing going to cost then? It's nine hundred and ninety-five dollars uh, U.S. is the introductory price, and that's for two channels. That's for two channels and transformer coupled in and out. Fantastic! Thank yeah. you very much, Dave. Okay, thank you.